So I'm a newbie in the genre, having only really been playing MMOs for the last few years, what with being an FPS only kind of gal and all, but I found myself tempted to come over to the dark side and haven't really gone back ever since. That isn't to say I don't still dabble in the FPS genre, but I found something that I haven't really found anywhere else. Throughout this enlightening experience, I guess, for lack of better words, I've noticed some common themes between MMOs, even the real obscure ones that Styx drags me into, and the other players that inhabit these strange yet wondrous worlds. So here are my top 16 most relatable things I've discovered whilst playing. So to start things off, I figured we'd jump right into it. Like, literally, jump right into it. Because in every MMO, it's a requirement to see if you take fall damage. You run to a high point and you look down, take a moment to contemplate whether or not this is a good idea, debate what'll happen if you get hurt and then swarm by the horde of monsters down there, or even worse, if you'll die. And then you just take that leap of faith. There's hardly ever a happy in-between either. You either fall one foot and die, or you fall from a skyscraper and survive with a twisted ankle. It's a rare case when you actually discover you take proper amount of fall damage compared to the height you fell from. Number 2. Trying to figure out what opens your inventory. Everyone has experienced this at one point or another. From the very moment you log in, you instinctively mash either the B or the I button and hope that it's inventory. I wish someone would just get on the same page and make it I. Stick says he likes B since in older games it used to be keybound to B, but whatever, he's old school. Are you B or I team? Number three, being a DPS and waiting in group queues. I'm pretty sure there's a DPS person watching this right now just waiting for a group. Don't worry, hang in there. Just know you're not alone. I used to play warrior in MMOs and I feel for all of you in DPS out there. I remember just laying my head on the keyboard and waiting for nearly 20 minutes for a queue to pop. Thankfully, in the last year, I've decided to start focusing on being a healer for Styx's tank. I mean, it makes sense for a nurse to go healer. That's kind of my thing. Queues have been much more kind since that transition, and but there's still the occasional wait. Number four is character creation. This single feature defines whether the MMO will be worthwhile or not. Is the character creation good? bad? How unique is it? And how many seconds did you actually spend making your character because you look like Freddy Krueger and I'm concerned about your life choices right now? Look what you did to me. <sighs> Personally, I spend at least 30 minutes or more depending on the variety that is offered, but Styx will argue he has time to shower, head to the store, pack everything away, cook dinner, and then come back and I at least have finished the face options. Number 5. So you see that guy over there with the quest? Yeah, he wants you to go take one step to the left to tell that guy that his brother is missing and you need to go pick flowers for his grave together. I hate when questing NPCs are literally within arm's reach of one another and you need to go play monkey in the middle between them. Why is this a thing? Number six is something Sticks and Wiggy struggle with daily, and I'm sure all of us can relate to. Inventory space, it's a problem. There never seems to be enough room. You start out the game and you're like, sweet sauce, I got like three pages and ten bags of space, I'm super solid. And then within a few levels you're like, well, why can't I pick this up? Inventory full? What? How did this even happen? You either end up selling things or dragging and dropping it everywhere like the litterer you are. Number seven. 
Number seven, I'd like to believe that most of us signing on to an MMO have some sense of what a keyboard is and how to move in a game, but every game insists upon teaching you how to use WSAD to move. I don't know if they just don't think we're capable human beings that have now had computers for years, or if there really is that 0.1% out there that really does need this tutorial. But then again, I see people backpedaling in PvP, so maybe the tutorial is warranted. Either way, I wish they'd get rid of it already. Number 8. Boobs. I feel like I don't really need to explain it any further than the word itself, but I can't help but notice these things are thrust in your face in nearly every MMO out there. I also know that it's required to see if they have physics just by watching Sticks play. Number 9. When your raider dungeon has that one guy that rage quits because of something minor, there's just never the perfect group every time. Like for instance, when someone stands in an AoE and dies and then blames the healer for not healing them, or blaming the tank for not taking aggro from the adds within a time frame they deem to be adequate. And I absolutely love it when people put the blame on the group instead of reflecting on what they did incorrectly that resulted in whatever incident they're whining about. This is made evident when they rage quit and you will succeed. Number 10. Speaking of rage quitters and it being their fault sometimes, there's also the people that just stand in every goddamn AoE every time. You sit there and you watch them just take it like it's their job to stand in the flashing red or orange telegraphing on the floor. And you wonder if perhaps they're just blind or if they're lagging when in reality they're just stupid. So this is for you stupid person that stands in the AoEs. This is for you. Number 11. Lag. It's a problem for most people with potato computers or those of us that live in third world countries, like Australia. Okay, maybe third world is a little too much, but based off what Styx says, having lived there for 27 years, it's not that much of a stretch. I used to play MMOs on my laptop and I remember being in a boss battle and then suddenly my entire game would lock right up. There's nothing more disappointing than freezing or seeing your FPS drop like it's hot with every flashy attack, let alone have having to deal with lag due to latency issues. Have you ever tried to dodge a boss with a half second cast and a one second action delay? Yeah, I bet you have. Number 12. So every MMO has this feature, but some more than others. <coughs> Chinese MMOs, the grind. It's the bane of our existence, but it's the only thing you actually do in MMOs besides PvP and dungeoning. And for some reason, we're gluttons for punishment. I'm thinking all MMOers are masochists. Number 13. Leveling gear. Sometimes, and this is a minority here, but sometimes you look good and other times you look like you're running around in a bag and you've taken up a side job as a clown. And until you get a costume to cover that disgusting excuse of attire, you're stuck in it. Number 14. So I want to put this out there because it's a thing. MMO stands for Massively Multiplayer Online, right? So why is it in every MMO we go at it solo? Why are instances all solo friendly these days? None of these games really require any form of party play. There's absolutely no point having a group or being around other people until you're forced to socialize for dungeons or raids, and even then I feel like no one wants to talk. I've tried saying hello to a few people and maybe one out of 20 people will say hi back. Otherwise you're hanging out by yourself, like the antisocial person you are. And that's not a healthy way to play a game built around communities that play it. Number 15. Speaking of being social, let's touch upon guilds for a second. Why is it that in every MMO there's that one Spanish-speaking guild on every English-speaking server that ends up popping up in the middle of your screen requesting you pledge your unfaltering loyalty to their guild? 
and Spanish, which we don't understand. Who knows what they could be asking you to do? They could be asking you to sacrifice yourself to their god. One of us! One of Either way, where are you people coming from? No hablo espanol! You make me feel like my language diversity skills are inadequate to play on the server. Then you make me question if I joined some kind of cult after I accidentally accepted it. You're lucky I understand some Spanish. Number 16. Outfits, costumes, transmog, whatever you want to call it, you know it exists. And you can bet it's a focal point of many players in game. I love dressing my characters up, it's part of the fun for me. Seeing the kinds of creations other players come up with, whether amazing or downright scary, is always an interesting experience to have. And you know the part of the grind listed earlier is due to wanting that final piece you've been trying so hard to get for the last three months. So this wraps up my list of relatable things in regards to MMOs. Leave a like if you agree and leave a comment if you have something you thought was missing from this list. If you'd like to see more of the MMO relatables, let me know. I'll be coming back with a few more soon enough. This was Mrs. Sticks, logging off for now. Bye! We fell out of love like shooting stars Came crashing down And we're building back up again now When you lose yourself, I'll be right beside